My man, JJ, uh, you're out there in L.A. and you're looking to build an investment portfolio in Cleveland. And you're looking at any and all real estate strategies. You're thinking about wholesaling, flipping, long-term buy and hold. And also you're thinking about short-term rentals, right? Every pot has its lid, man. Every type of neighborhood uh, has specific strategies that'll work best. And today we're going to be talking about a neighborhood, a little party town that I think will be great for short-term vacation rentals. Let's take a look now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you guys become better, more sophisticated, more educated, and all importantly, most importantly of all, I should say, more profitable real estate investors. And today we're looking at this thing. This is going to make for one heck of an Airbnb investment, right? Take a look at this, okay? Lake Erie, folks. It's in Geneva. I don't know if a lot of you people watching this have heard of Geneva on the Lake, right? Right here, Geneva on the Lake. It's kind of like uh, like a party town, a little party zone. Uh, you know, it, it's more like a, a super scaled back version of Mardi Gras almost, right? There's like this whole strip of bars and restaurants, just all kinds of fun stuff to do, right? Cruise around the streets and golf carts. I mean, there's even this one bar that I was in, and uh, there's just, like, Polaroids, like old-school Polaroids just printed and stapled to the wall of, like, boobies. Because just, like, I guess people go there, and they see the pictures of the boobies, and then they show their boobies, and the bar owners take pictures of those boobies. And then there's more boobies on the wall, which then motivates more boobies to be shown. And then there's, like, this whole booby wall thing, right? It's like a collage of boobies, okay? Boobies of all shapes and sizes, okay? All ages, right? You got your younger boobies, of course, above 18, of course, boobies. Well, actually, it's a bar above 21. You got your, your early 20s boobies. You got your 40-year-old boobies. There's just so many boobies on this wall, right? So that's the kind of uh, atmosphere that's out there in this Geneva-on-the-Lake area, right? Think Putin bay right? But Putin bay is, like, way on the west side uh, of Lake Erie, right? So, like... This is Geneva on the lake, huge party spot. Then you got Cleveland in the middle, which is about an hour away. And then another hour to the west, you start to see your island, right? So if you guys are going to be investing in northeast Ohio and you're going to want to be doing Airbnbs, right? Far out on the east, this right here, this is your party zone. Way out on the west, this is your party zone. And you go even further, we got uh, Cedar Point, okay? So this is like the big time party zone, right? So if you're doing vacation, you're doing partying, uh, this is a premier location, right? This particular property, 4473 Lake Road, East Geneva. It's listed at 470000 I think that's a reasonable price point, right? This thing is literally right on the lake. You get the beachfront, well, not really a beach, but you get the waterfront access. Like this is where you want to be, Okay. That's what people want. They're going to pay you a premium. As far as the home goes, it's not like super high end by any means. It's just like a little beach house. They got the nice light beachy colors. I really don't think you need to do much. I don't think you need to wow uh, on the inside as much. People are coming here uh, for the outside, for the party, right? They're not really too concerned with what the inside look like. So I don't think we really need to worry about doing uh, too many uh, repairs or improvements or anything, right? So as far as price, they're asking for 70. I think we got to give it to them. I think they'll definitely sell that, right? I mean, there's not a lot of lakefront property, okay? When lakefront property becomes available in a super party zone, it's going to move quick. And I think we're going to put about 25 grand worth of furnishings in there, okay? It's pretty big. It's four bed, two baths, so we should have no problem sleeping 10. Uh, the amount of people you could sleep when you're advertising on the short-term rental platforms, that's incredibly important. That's how you get a premium in rent. I think we'll be able to rent it on an average of 375 Now, Memorial Day weekend, Fourth of July weekend, things of that nature, if you're going to get a huge premium. You'll rent those every single time. You're going to make a bunch of money, right? You're going to obviously make more money in the warm months than you will in the cold months. But this should project out an average for you, right? So 375 
uh, a night. If you rented it every day of the year, that's like 140000 in rent. But that's crazy. That's not going to happen. No, no, no. You're probably going to be dealing with almost 40% vacancy. As the whole thing averages out after the whole kit and caboodle, everything, you average the whole thing out. I think an average uh, income you're going to generate off of this property doing short-term rentals every year is going to be around forty nine grand. okay? So if you buy it at 470, because I don't think you're getting away making a lower offer here, you put your 25k and your furnishings into the thing. You're all in for under five, right? You're in for 495, 142 and a half of that's coming out of your pocket up front. That's 25% down plus your 25 grand uh, in your furnishings. Now I'm sure you could probably pay for those with a credit card or this or that, but you know you can't like mortgage those in, right? So you get a loan 352 after you pay off Mr. Lender. You're generating around a 23% cash on cash return. You're in an incredibly premium area. So don't forget your tenants are going to be paying off that $350,000 mortgage. And folks, if you're looking uh, for investments that are going to generate the cash flow now, this is it. But look at it. That's your locale. When you sell this in 5, 10, 15 years, these are the kinds of properties you're going to appreciate, right? This is always going to be one of the highest in-demand properties in the area, right? There's only so much lakefront access. And this is not like one of them little lakes, folks. You know them little lakes uh, that people try to advertise on the MLS. Like, oh, lakefront access, but it's just like a sub-development lake, and you can see the houses on the other side. You aren't seeing nothing. It's basically like oceanfront property more or less, right? The only time you're going to see land on the other side of this is when we're in friggin' Canada, okay? So this is where you want to be. Again, you're right there. Geneva on the Lake is your draw. I suggest you Google Geneva on the Lake, see all the cool bars and stuff. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually more stuff out there than the booby bar. But, of course, that was the one that stuck in my mind the most because, like, it's boobs, right? Anyway, should be a good investment. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.